All right, we are here with uh, Brighton hockey coach Kirk Cavisto. Um, uh, we're standing in what was the Brighton hockey locker room, but kind of talk about what you're doing. Yeah, we completely gutted it a week ago, and we're in the process of refurbishing it. This, our shower room and the JV locker room. So kind of an exciting pro project, something we've had in mind for a while, and finally busted out the hammers and got to work this summer. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I know that they've had the locker room for, this is for 23 years. Just kind of explain the timeline of it. Yeah, Brighton Hockey played at Grand Oaks in the, uh, you know, the, the origin and moved here when the rink opened in the year 2000, built this locker room. Stalls were built by hand with uh, Mike and Keith Penner. There were some additions over time, new carpet, new paint. Um, some benches were added. And uh, 23 years later, a lot of success in this room. We, we decided it was time to, to upgrade a little bit. So that's what we're in the process of now. Redoing the floor, new entryway, we'll get new lockers, new shower area, and uh, kind of improving upon what we had here that was here for a long time. Yeah, so kind of just talk about the timeline of it because it may seem like it, you guys have a while, but it'll come right before you know it. There isn't, you know, obviously when October rolls or when October, November rolls around, it's uh, the time of the season, but there's still a few months until this uh, this thing's going to get uh, things going to get built, but. Um, you know, obviously um, uh, going out and uh, getting help as well. So yeah. we talk about that. Yeah, we need a lot of help. You know, financially is one component of it, but also the, the work itself. So we got quotes for a lot of trades to, to come in here. And there is a, a timeliness too that we start. I think it's October 30th of 2023 is our first day of tryout. So our goal is to have everything done, be fully moved in here prior to that and ready to go for our season this year. So kind of talk about what you've kind of done so far. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of meetings up front, both with the school and the, in the district and the rank here to, to see what we can do and how to best do that. Um, so there's a lot of meetings even during our season last year on, on determining what the scope of work was, um, how, to, how to fund it secondly, and then kind of got to work once we got that approval that the project is moving forward. We, we got the hammers out when school was done. We did our excellence camp last week and the boys did a great job. We had a lot of kids in here from the varsity and the JV programs ripping out the stalls and, and starting demo and got that done. And now the, the rink and some of the trades have gotten in here this week to start with uh, some of the improvements. So what's the timeline for the next few weeks? What are, what's, what are, what's going to be done? Because I know you're, uh, yeah, I know you're going to, right after I leave here, we're, you're going to be working on some stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah. Finishing up demo is a big part of it. The, uh, the rink's got some work to do. It's kind of a good time of the year there. A little bit quieter time here so yeah they're coming in behind us and getting it done we'll get flooring measured and get that stuff installed and the other trades and finish with the lockers hopefully sometime in early october yeah it should be uh should be fun stuff there but uh where if people want to contribute where can they yeah that's that's a great point we're uh, we're raising a, a a decent sum of money here and we have a, a paypal account set up through the school all the fundraising goes directly into the account for this project and uh, it's easy. Hopefully, uh, you can you can link the link here. Yep. And uh, you know we put stuff out on Facebook, on on Twitter, and uh, hopefully we can keep that momentum going. We have a lot of good corporate sponsors here in Brighton, a lot of good individuals willing to contribute, and we're looking forward to get this done collectively as a community. Yeah, and this link, of course, will go on all my all of my socials, including my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook. So, um, you know, so if you if you wish to support, links will be provided for you there. Um, all right. Well, Kurt, thank you so much for talking with us, and we'll talk to you soon. And if you like what you see, you can hit that subscribe button. Sounds good, and stay tuned this summer for some uh, progress updates, Casey.